Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That Much Difficulty. Today we are at this lovely little village called Benek, I think it's called, in uh, Valen. We're back in the marshlands of Valen. And a while back, in between recordings, I gave an old man something to eat. And he told me he was a fortune teller and that he could uh, predict my future. In return, I should find him some dragon's root, so we're gonna try and find that here in the vicinity. So yeah, we're gonna continue our uh, slog through a few of the minor side quests, because I, uh, if you remember in the beginning of the playthrough, I promised to do pretty much everything I could, so that includes minor side quests such as this one as well. So it should be down here in a cave somewhere. There we go. And that doesn't look good, actually. It looks like something horrifying is living in this, these caves. Hello? That sounds like a bear, if I'm not mistaken. But those are ghouls. Uh, I am pretty much over leveled for this quest, so I don't think, yeah, level two ghouls. So I'm not even gonna break a sweat beating these. Okay. So that should allow me to find dragon's root. There it is. Oh no, no. That was just. Okay. There are these weirdly armored dudes here though hmm weird am I supposed to be up top or what is this oh wait over here Dragon's there root. we go, Dragon's Root. I if it can really help the old man see the future. Well, let's find out, Geralt. See you guys back at the fortune teller in a second. And there's the bear we heard. So I'm gonna quickly take this thing out. There we go. Two Igni shots, and he should be. Uh, Taken care of. Just in case I would get some bear hide because it's one of the rarer uh, alchemy ingredients. Sadly, nothing. So, the fortune teller. Back at the neck. That was an unintended rhyme. A storm, damn it. But, Mr. Fortune Teller. Tell me my fortune. Old Sage. Oh, you're back. Yes, I'm back with Dragon's Root. Here's what you asked for. Got what you asked for. Thank you. Now I need a moment. This should be interesting. Or a complete hoax. That is also a possibility. You just might get drunk off that Dragon's Root. I see a wolf striving forward towards a solitary tower midst a blizzard. Oh. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As to others say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn That's... of the elder blood of hen of a planted seed. That's if actually prophecy. Pretty Leave me be. Nicely go. Predicted. Go now. Well, thank you, sir, for that insight. And that's the truth is in the stars, I suppose. So, of course, I'm not going to end this episode here. I had a suspicion that this would be a pretty short one. So, uh, I think there is, yeah, there's another quest in this little town as well. 
So this guy over here, I have no idea what he's gonna ask me, but... You going north, master? Why do you ask? I might. Oh, I thought you could see if anything's happened to our men. They've been gone a while. Okay. Oh, it's a Witcher contract. Uh, let's talk about my pay. My reward. How do you want to figure it? Oh, uh, we well, we thought... That I? You, you're owed for your trouble. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty big reward, so I'm wondering if I'm the correct level for this. Uh, I don't know. So let's haggle a bit. 275, there we go. You, excellent. What do you need? What do you need? Merchant caravan came through not long past. Hired some of our boys to guide him to the bridge. They were due back yesterday. Fine. Keep my eyes open. My brother Tomil led him. Talk to him when you find them. Clever man. Not like the rest of them, eh? So, let's track that contract. Phantom of the Trade Route. It doesn't show a skull. So I'm gonna quickly check what level it's supposed to be. It is level 23, so it's really on the edge of what I'm supposed to be doing, but hey. Now that I started it, I might as well finish it. Find the missing caravan, the Phantom of the Trade Route. I'm a bit scared, actually. Five levels above mine. This could hurt. Well, they took their happened. carts over here. Um, Someone walked through the spilled wine. Someone big. Someone was running. Fast. Panicked. Those are giant footsteps, or is that me? No, those are giant footsteps. Somebody was bound. Rope was cut quickly with a dull blade. Okay then. So was this a prison escape or something? Um, there was a larger scratch over here. Claw marks. A flyer swooped down. Judging by the claw marks, gotta be a wyvern or a fork tail. Okay, with the wine barrel. But seems the people managed to escape. Can't so We've handled those. Smell will linger for hours. So uh, the Kaidwini wine left a scent, which we can follow since someone stepped through it. There seems to be a few trails, so let's try and find where these people went, because they might not be dead. At least not all. There are a few wolves on the right side if you're wondering what that growling is. Um, okay, this goes on for a while. Tracks lead to the cave. Okay, I am going to save. There we go. So there is a dead person at the entrance here. Caught one just before you reached the cave. Okay, is that thing still outside here or did they just follow those poor people in? I don't know. My guess is as good as yours. Because, uh. Boy, okay. Cleave. Your eyes. To shine so in the dark. Thought at first it was a lizard coming. Thing that attacked. How big was it? Well, too big to squeeze in here. It were huge, and those teeth, ugh, we barely escaped. That entrance looked pretty big, so, uh... Wonders. Poor son sure had it coming. Important thing now is to get out of here. Will ye help, Master Witcher? Of course I will, that's what I was paid for. Or, I hopefully will get paid for. Tell me what happened. Some traders hired us. To protect him along the high road, they said. Before we knew it, they bound us like calves. Why? They were kind enough to explain it real precise that we were necessary sacrifice for progress and trade. So they left us, tied to the wagon as beast bait. Weren't long for a huge lizard appeared, as if its master had whistled. Okay, Most then. Must have learned by now that army supplies travel down this road. Oi, clever one, the lizard. Cut us off straight away. Left us to crawl in here. Poor Tom Eel didn't make it. That sounds incredibly sadistic. Um. So I'll try and kill that thing. Monster. Doubt I'll have to look far. 
Wyverns like to herd their prey towards their nests. We'll wait here. Wouldn't want to get in your way. Good idea. Wow, wyvern. So it's probably outside, I suppose. How big is this thing that it wouldn't fit through that giant opening? Look at it. Royal Wyvern. Okay then. Let's check the bestiary. So under Draconids we have the Royal Wyvern, a hunter who knows his prey prey's habits and behavior will rarely return from his hunt empty-handed. To know what forest pots deer are like to trolled, to know when what muck boars will wallow, to guess when a hare will emerge from its burrow, that is half the battle. What most men do not know is that some monsters also possess such knowledge. For example, a royal wyvern from Valen had learned the danger of exposing itself to human eyes and arrows by flying high to pick out its prey from afar. Instead, it would lurk by the roadside and wait for military transports. In this way, it grew fat on salted pork and beer, expanding until it resembled the dragon more than other lesser member of members of its own kind. The Witcher just knew this beast would be much stronger and more resilient than a normal wyvern. Wyvern, I'm sorry. Even one blow from it could kill, which is why he would need to avoid its charge at all costs. He would also be wise to force it to the ground with his crossbow or a bomb whenever it tried to fly into the air and hurtle down into a deadly dive. So, uh, Grapeshot Bomb, Golden Oriole against the Poison, probably. Uh, Draconid Oil is a given and Ard. So, I apparently do not have Draconid Oil yet, so that's gonna be a bit of a problem. But I might as well try my best right now. It's apparently on top of the cave. So another quick save before we deal with this monstrosity. Uh, equip the crossbow. And then maybe even... Uh, I'm gonna equip those grape shot bombs as well. There we go. And that should be all the preparation we should need. Because this is probably gonna suck. There it is. Okay. Um, can I sneak to it? Save again, just in case. Oh, shite. You got to be fucking kidding me. So there are two! This is gonna be a problem. Um, so I could handle this with the uh, Igni. Should focus on one before the other, of course. Still using vampire oil. Okay, there it goes. That's one down. This is not the Royal Wyvern, is it? Because these are two normal Wyverns. Wyverns, I keep saying Wyverns. So let's get those things. Wasn't them that attacked those people? Nope. Gotta be a Royal Wyvern hiding around here somewhere. More will spawn. Need to destroy the nests. Why would these big things spawn out of those little nests? That's Every fucking nest. bullshit. Need to destroy it. Not without saving first now that I killed those two. Um this is the other side of that cave, isn't it? Wait for the royal wyvern wyvern to take the bait. And I lost my shield again, great.
Okay. Hi. So this thing is poisonous. Okay, there we go. Ooh, wow. Um, well, it does work. Um, well, it's almost all <laughs> dead already. There we go. And set it on fire. Well, that was easy. Um, well, if you want my advice, just use Igni. The melt armor just takes care of it. It's huge. What's the name again? Wyvern. 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 Don't usually come this big. It's feasted plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call ye, master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. It'll be a tale to tell the young'uns. I'm glad that I could help. Let's uh, get my reward from its corpse here. I have the mutagen now. And the trophy. Oh, no. Cut the head off animation. Well, okay then. So see you back at the, the contractor for my reward in a second. I got attacked by those wolves on the way back. But hey, refugee. Great end. Well, uh, they're safe. Well, most of them are. I found your friends. I have spoken to them. They're too damn bad Tom Hill didn't make it. Here, take this. Thanks. Farewell. You are welcome. So, another Witcher contract, the Phantom of the Trade Route, completed. Uh, I'm not going to end the episode right here yet, since we're still on the topic of wyverns. I have an interesting little side quest, I think, is, well, uh, very cool if you've read the book. So, uh, see you in Oxenford in a second. So from the Novigrad gate in uh, Oxenfurt, if you go across the bridge, um, going east, well northeast, there is this um, well remarkable display of idiocy. And if you've read the books, it might seem familiar. But let's uh, let it go for now. Interesting basilisk you've got there. Course it's interesting. So the tamer Once claims it's a basilisk. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zeracania from eggs laid by cockerels. But we've seen basilisks and well if the game would show us the beast it, we would see that it's actually a wyvern. But uh, let's keep tugging his strings a bit. Cockerel eggs you say. Yeah what cocks they are. Lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatching by 101 venomous vipers. Then the young basilisk pecks its way out. Okay, interesting story, but that's a wyvern and not a basilisk. This basilisk is interesting because it looks exactly like a wyvern. Since we've just defeated young three of those. And he'll fed it that. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. Right. Um, what do I know? I'm, I'm a, witcher. a witcher. Yeah. Hold on now. If that's no basilisk, but some weaver, then what did I pay for? Give me back my conch. Stop laughing right, at the so way I'm. Uh, I pronounce that, sir. Uh, there it goes. So the funny thing here is that the thing that just happened, the. The tamer claiming it's a basilisk and it's actually a wyvern that then escapes. It's actually something that happens to Siri in the exact same way. 
and I mean the exact same way. It's a, a cage with a wyvern and the beast tamer claiming it's a basilisk. basilisk. Yep, indeed. And Siri then had to put the wyvern down. But I uh, thought this would be a nice little side quest to finish this episode off since we already had to deal with wyverns so you know what they look like. So uh, with that done, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like this video right here on YouTube. And uh, if you even enjoyed it very much, then uh, you might give it a thought to press that shiny red subscribe button in the bottom right there. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!